Hey you guys, it's Lauren, welcome back. So I'm very excited about today's video because I have a favorites video, favorites and fails. I do have two fails that I'll talk about at the end of the video. Um, one fail is from one of my favorite brands. I regret to talk about this product, but unfortunately just did not cooperate with my skin. And then also a sunscreen. And then I also have some favorite sunscreens to talk about. This month has been the month of trying new sunscreens. So I have some new favorites. I have a new favorite sunscreen and then an old favorite that is too good to not talk about again and also just a lot of good things a new gadget for the pickers out there um, so I'm excited about that gadget as well but anyway lots of good things to get through so we'll just go ahead and get right into it first off I want to talk about this new lipstick I will highlight this in my Sephora recommendations video but I wanted to mention this because I'm wearing it today and it is such a beautiful shade perfect for the everyday nude pink fan so this is a brand new formula by Natasha Denona I love her I needed nude lipsticks I have a lot of the shades behind me right here she just knows new lipsticks it's kind of reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury's formula in a way but something about this new formula just feels so special these are a gel based formula that gives full coverage they're a voluptuous lipstick to define and condition the lips and it's so true they somehow do define the lips and make your lips just look so full and plump I don't have any lip liner on today but this shade peony 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 right is the flower why, why does that not sound right to me? But yeah, this shade is so beautiful. It gives a little bit of vibrance while still being somehow muted down. Like, it's just perfect for that everyday nude lip fan. And I, I am that person. I just love a nude lip. And I just love this color. It has a little bit of a shine, too. It's so creamy. And I just really love the shade for every day. The packaging is great. It has that magnetic closure. I just feel like you're really getting your money's worth with this lipstick. I'll probably talk about this in my Sephora recommendations video, which is probably coming within the next video. I don't like to put up those videos too soon because I don't know if you guys are VIBers, if you're Beauty Insiders or Rouge members. I feel like everybody's kind of backing away from Sephora these days, but I'm noticing that the Sephora videos are still popular. So I'm sure, I guess people are still shopping the sale. I still get excited for it, but there's only a few products that I will actually buy from the sale that I think are worth it and I think with this video I'm gonna make it more of like a Sephora challenge like what is actually worth buying from Sephora versus buying direct from the website are the Sephora discounts still better I, I think a lot I think we know the answer <laughs> but for me maybe for a certain brands it is worth it to buy from the sale but we'll see that video is coming up soon but all right next is a product from color science I love color science sunscreen I'm actually gonna highlight another product in a second as well but this new Sun forgettable total protection color bomb in the shade golden hour this is a product that really surprised me because when I first looked at the shade I put it to the side I'm like oh, I might pass that on to a friend I don't think I'm gonna get along with this color if you can see it's this like vibrant orangey red I'm like eh, maybe not for me but this is so beautiful on the cheeks and for some reason this shade is much more creamy they sent out two other pinky year shades that I thought I would love but their formula is a little drier it's the exact same formula but for some reason this shade feels a lot more creamier but what I like about this is the fact that it has a like a golden sheen to it it has like this golden undertone and it looks so beautiful and almost sun-kissed on the cheeks and it blends in a lot easier than the other pinkier shades for some reason this is just a lot more creamy but I love this idea of like a protected blusher this has an SPF of 50 in a mineral form so I just think that is so cool because I've been applying a lot of tinted sunscreens and if I apply a cream blush over top I feel like it moves the sunscreen around and I'm losing some of that protection so I love that I can reach for this and I'm getting the protection with the color and it it just is such a beautiful shade. I really enjoy wearing this. I'm not wearing it today. What am I wearing? I want to say this is the shade Dolce Pink from Milani, the baked blush. But yeah, this is such a beautiful shade, especially for the summer. I love that peachy undertone with kind of that highlight effect to it as well. It's so beautiful. So really excited about this product from Color Signs. And while we're on the Color Signs train, I just wanted to mention too, because this products came up again. I've been wearing this a ton this month. We actually went to Disney two weeks ago um, and great time. We actually only, we left the park by five o'clock. We just did all the smaller rides. My girls are um, five and three. The baby stayed home with my dad. My parents have a place in Kissimmee so he was able to stay back with the baby and we just talk, took the girls and they had a blast. But anyway, I pulled this out of my arsenal because I thought it'd be great for travel because it doubles as a foundation and a sunscreen. This is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield in the shade 
Um, I have the shade Fair, um, but I, you know, I think in the summer I'm more of the medium shade. It is just the coolest product. It turns from a cream to a foundation as you rub it in. It has these pigmented beads in here. See how it comes out white? And then as you rub it in, it starts to build up the coverage. And then it just transforms into a foundation that blurs the skin, smooths the skin, and it also gives this like dewy finish to the skin. Now that looks pretty fair on camera right now, but it actually worked well with my skin tone um, down in Florida. I do have a little bit of a, a sun kiss look to my skin here. I think I got some sun down there. But what I love to do was actually combine it with the bronze shade. They have um, the color bronze, it's called bronze. But when combined with the Flex formula, it gives such a beautiful, also sun-kissed finish. It really just warms up the face and it blends in really nicely with the Flex formula. So if you're looking to add a little bit more of that sun-kissed look to the Flex formula, this, the bronze, is a great option. I also love bronze on its own, but you do have to be careful because with my skin tone, it definitely really deepens my skin tone and I end up with more of that mask-like look if I wear it on its own. So if I reach for this, I just kind of put it on the apples my cheeks and on my temples just to warm up my face but I can't really wear this as an all-over sunscreen because of how dark it actually is but if you're mixing it with another X SPF I think it's like a perfect just to give your skin that that sun kissed look so I love this bronze formula and the flex formula you just cannot go wrong with one of their number one products and one of their best sellers and I can see why it's just such a unique product great for dry skin as well and I love that you're getting that medium coverage with this it's just so cool, love the Flex formula. All right, so while we're on the complexion train, let's talk about the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tint. I, I think I just talked about this in my underrated foundations, but I've been reaching for this so much because it's just such a convenient product and it's so lightweight. But this is a skin tint, but I would argue that it is more of a foundation. It does give your skin more of a medium coverage even, I don't know, you can kind of build it up to full coverage. It definitely evens out all my dark spots and it gives a foundation look, but more of a dewy skin-like look. It's just so beautiful on the skin and it has been so long tried a foundation product that is this thin. Do you see how it runs down my hand? And it just blends into the skin so nicely. It's very silky and smoothing on the skin as well. It's just such a good product, so underrated. There's so many high ratings for this product on Ulta's website and I can see why I just love it it gives a nice satin dewy finish to the face it's just beautiful once I tried the it cosmetics new nude glow I did start to reach for this again because I feel like the new glow did remind me of this product but the nude glow is too, a little too dewy for me you guys saw my thoughts on that in the last video I'm still gonna reach for my original CC cream it definitely does not beat that out but there's just other so many other great dewy formulas out there I mean this doesn't have SPF it cosmetics does but if you're looking for a lightweight dewy formula for the summer this is a beautiful I love this and you can get this at Ulta and I think it's 16 to 18 dollars definitely on the more affordable side so yeah love this product by Morphe. Verst has a new eye cream which I cannot get enough of now this is too early to report my results but I do want to just talk about the consistency of this because it's like an instant love for me I tested out the color science um, eye firm uh, cream I, I might do a full dedicated video because I did take before pictures do I want to spoil the results? I think I might um, make you guys wait and do an official dedicated video because I used it for straight four months. That never happens. I usually at least try to use a product for two months, but I did use that consistently and I used up the whole entire bottle on one of my eyes. So look for that video to come. You guys will see my before and after pictures, but use that one up. So on to the next and I just love this one by Verse. This is the Advanced Retinoid Eye Balm. This is a true balm consistency. It's literally like applying a firmer Vaseline underneath the eyes. It transforms into an oil as you're applying it. So it moisturizes the eyes so well and it almost smooths out everything also. Like your wrinkles instantly feel smoother. I mean, there's nothing that's instant with wrinkles, but it just gives your under eyes such a moisturized, dewy appearance. And let's talk about the ingredients real quick. So we have shea butter in here, sunflower seed oil, triglycerides. So nice kind of um, replenishing ingredients for the skin's barrier to firm up the skin's barrier. And we also have, uh, what, are, what is our retinol in here? We have a grand active retinoid. So over the counter, it still has to be converted down to get a true retino, to be a true retinoic acid. But you're gonna get those skin firming, the collagen building effects of a retinol from this. And it's not irritating whatsoever. 
As a matter of fact, it's very calming underneath the eyes. Never any irritation. I haven't gotten that peeling side effect. Would you guys have heard me say I kind of like the peel if I'm using a retinol because I feel like it truly is working. But I don't know. From what I've used so far of this, I feel like it really is smoothing to the under eye. But overall, I just instantly love that hydration factor. And it does have shiitake mushroom extract in here as well. And I think, I, I, I don't know, I just love anything with a mushroom ingredient. Mushroom can be very, it's, it has a humectant quality to it, so it's very plumping to the skin as well. So great ingredients in here, fragrance free, great for the under eye. I've been loving this by Versed. Definitely a quick favorite. So I'll report back my results on this um, and look out for the that eye cream video to come with my before and after pictures. And then next up, Oh my gosh, you guys, one of the best sunscreens. This is the Tatcha, the Silk Sunscreen. This is niacinamide in here, hyaluronic acid. It's a broad spectrum SPF of 50, PA 4 pluses, full UVA protection in here. This is a full mineral sunscreen. You're getting zinc oxide at 10%. This is so beautiful on the skin. It's expensive, but I'm telling you, you are going to be happy with the quality. You really, at least I feel like I'm getting my money's worth, worth with this. This feels like a special sunscreen. It is just so gorgeous on the skin. It has a neutral tint to it that kind of has maybe a little bit like a pinky toned undertone to it. So it does warm up the skin, but the best part about this, it's just so smoothing, great as a primer and also great on its own. And it feels so lightweight. It somehow has almost that silicone -y feel, like that primer feel, but it still feels water light and lightweight. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I am so pleased with this. I was hesitant to pick this up. So I'm like $60 for a sunscreen, but I wanted to try it. I know everybody was raving about it, so I needed to hop on the bandwagon as well, and I am definitely glad I did. It's just beautiful. So I would highly recommend the new Tatcha sunscreen. I just love this. Next up, I've been quickly going through my Dear Claire's Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. I have a little bit left, and you guys, I cannot just get enough of this. When my skin is super dry, which it definitely has been recently, this is just a savior. It's like a drink of water for your skin. I pat this on after I cleanse, and it just soaks into the the skin plumps out the skin beautiful ingredients in here really soothing we have brighteners in here as well there's licorice root in here centella what else do we have in here we have panthenol we have beta glucan there's copper tripeptide in here the list just goes on and on so many skin plumping ingredients but the best part about this is again it's just like a punch uh, that drink of water for your skin. It just packs in the hydration. It's so beautiful on the skin. So great if you have dry skin, this is a savior. Pack it on underneath your moisturizer and you will wake up with the most hydrated skin. It's just beautiful. I, I love this. I get this on Amazon. You can also get it. Um, I originally got it. Was it from Style Vanna or Yes Style? Oh gosh. I think it was from one of their sponsored videos with me actually. So I'm going to get in trouble, but <laughs> um, yeah, I will leave those two links down below where I got it. I think it, I think it style video but love this cannot be in essence from a Korean skincare brand I just think they do them so well but I just I, I love this I cannot say enough good things and then another product that has retinol at the Luna sleeping night oil this is by Sunday Riley and I have really been enjoying this for my chest did I talk about this in a favorites video recently? I feel like I did, but I think it's worth the mention because this is just such a great smoothing quality to the skin. But I have been loving this as a retinol for my chest and neck. My neck is especially very sensitive, as most people's are. That's a very sensitive area on your body, so you have to be careful with products on your neck area, especially exfoliating products. But this is the one product that feels gentle, and I feel like I'm getting that anti-aging benefit. But I smooth this on after I get out of the shower, it is just really nice on the skin. It has an odd blue tint to it, but it does absorb into the skin. Lie a little bit here so you can at least see the initial effect. But see how it just gives your skin a glow and it just makes everything look really youthful. And I always wake up with like hydrated, glowy skin. And I love that I'm getting the benefits from a retinol at night using this. Very hydrating. And it does feel like it tames my blemish blemishes somehow as well. Let's have fragrance in here, chamomile essential oils, which chamomile can be soothing on the skin, but it also can be irritating. So be careful if you have any sensitivities, but it still somehow calms my skin and it does kind of just clear everything up and keep everything tame and soothed. I'm just happy to have found an anti-aging product for my neck and chest area that doesn't irritate my skin and that is actually giving me results. So yeah, I've been really liking the Luna oil. And then this next product by Function of Beauty is so good. 
This is their wavy hair leave-in treatment. Um, sorry if you hear hammering right now. My husband's putting together a storage shed in the backyard. Um, why does it sound like it's like coming through the walls of the house? <laughs> um, but this is so good. It really smooths out the hair. I put this on after I shower on damp hair, but you can also put it on dry hair as well. It detangles the hair. It's really smoothing and it makes my strands really silky. I just love it. It smells amazing too. I know you guys know I love my Old Plex number no. 6. That's a styling cream as well that I like to use. I don't think it's going to replace that, but I've really been enjoying the results of that. The difference with the Olaplex, I feel like that is a little heavier and makes my hair more weighed down, which with my heavy coarse hair, I, I don't mind. But if your hair is more on the normal to thin side, I think this is a leave-in treatment that you will absolutely love. And it's just enough for those coarse hair types like, like myself, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't have that intense smoothing action like the Olaplex number no. six does this is just silky enough it gives your hair exactly what it needs it's just really good and I love the smell I love that it detangles my hair I've been using it on uh, my girls hair as well and they really get they got excited to add the boosters and let's see how many can you add up to three I think I only had added two in here I think I did the anti-frizz one and the hydration slash moisturization one and it really was just enough to it doesn't water water this down at all which is really interesting and it doesn't make it too oily but you do it seems like you're getting an extra I tried this with and without the boosters and with the boosters it did seem like I got more of like a silky factor to this so it's really cool that you can customize this and I just like the detangling action and the fact that it's like lightweight hydration for my hair if I need something extra after the shower this has been a savior and you get so much for your money in here this was sent out to me but you get seven fluid ounces which the old plex you get a whole three fluid ounces those old plex bottles are really tiny but that you're getting a lot for your money so I've really been enjoying this function of beauty from Target all right last but not least the tool that I was talking about in the beginning, the tool for all the pickers out there. If you're like me, I know it's not just me, I always thought it was the nurse in me, but I know there's other pe people out there that do this too. But if you enjoy picking blackheads, popping pimples, cleaning out earwax, both your own earwax and your partner's earwax, your kid's earwax, <laughs> let me know down below. It cannot be just me. I know there's other people out there, but if you are that person, you will love this tool. <laughs> but this is the Axel Glade Spade Earwax Cleaner. This is the coolest thing ever. They sent this out to me, and I do have an affiliate um, link. I, I believe it gives you 10% off. Um, I'll leave it down below. This is the coolest thing ever. I needed this in my life. But it is a lighted earwax cleaning tool. So this is an earwax cleaning tool that comes with a light at the end of it. And also a camera. There's an itty bitty camera that you can connect with your phone. You open up the Spade app and you can actually look on the camera and see all the little inner workings of your ear and see all the chunky little earwax bits. I'm telling you guys, this is so satisfying. It comes with all these different attachments. I have the Q-tip looking attachment on here now, but it also comes with a little scooper um, and also this kind of like a cup shaped attachment also, or more like a disc end to it. But they, it's really cool how they package it because all the extra tips all the replaceable tips come in this chargeable stand so the actual tool sits in this chargeable stand that you can keep on your vanity or your uh, sink wherever you want to keep this but what's cool about this it allows you to clean your ears without doing it blindly with a q-tip you could worsen the problem you could cause ear infections especially with the q-tip you could be pushing in that wax further but with this tool you can actually see the wax on camera and kind of grab that little chunk scoop it out and then you know you're not going in too deep um, you really shouldn't you really should only be cleaning the outside of your ears but this is just so cool, so satisfying. I actually feel like I'm cleaning out my kids' ears in a safe and effective way. I really enjoy it. I, I honestly, I, I'm gonna put it out there. I was hoping that I'd be able to see their eardrums, which as a nurse, I should not. First of all, it's not even in my scope of practice to diagnose, and nobody should be diagnosing any <laughs> any conditions. Take your kids to the doctors if you think they have an ear infection. But motto of the story, you cannot see anybody's eardrums with this, so don't buy this to diagnose your kids' ear, <laughs> ear infections, bottom line. But it is a great tool. It's really safe. It's actually probably safer than using a Q-tip. This was just one of the coolest PR gifts ever. You know, as I feel like because of my channel name, I don't get that much PR, but this was just so exciting to me. And I feel like it's just really effective. It's really, it tops.
top quality, top notch quality, and it really does the job, does the trick, and it's really satisfying to use. So anyway, I had to include it in my favorites. I've just really been enjoying. So all right, that does it for my favorites for this video. Let's now talk about my fails. I did recently talk about this in one of my reels on my Instagram. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen SPF of 50. This was sent out to me through the Octoly PR program. You guys, I was not a fan of this. First of all, it is slightly tacky, which doesn't always bother me if I'm wearing it underneath makeup, but the tack kind of makes it uncomfortable on the face. It feels slightly heavy on the face. It just kind of gives your face that like hard to move feel, if you know what I mean. And it's not overly moisturizing. It does kind of smooth out the skin and it does give it a really nice dewy glow, but it pills with so many products. And my biggest complaint though, it really burned my eyes. The first day I tried it out, I didn't even sweat. I was just wearing this around the house and all of a sudden both of my eyes out of nowhere just started stinging so bad and I had to immediately wash this off. So I can't imagine if I was actually sweating how bad this would sting my eyes. So I was just not a fan of that. And I exfoliated the one night and I woke up, used this the next day and it stung my skin because of my freshly exfoliated skin, which isn't uncommon with a chemical sunscreen, but this Oh yeah, this does have zinc in here. This is a combination chemical and zinc oxide. So it's not even a full chemical sunscreen, but somehow this really burned my skin. I didn't get irritation, I didn't get redness, but I just not enjoy that burn in my eyes and that burn on my skin. So unfortunately, this was a fail for me. It might've been the niacinamide in here as well, but usually niacinamide, it doesn't do that to my skin. But for the price of this, I just didn't think this was worth the money. And then last but not least, this pains me to say, this is a dermatology product. You guys know I'm an affiliate with dermatology. I will recommend that sunscreen over and over again. The tinted SPF, I still have yet to find another sunscreen that tops that. HBR 20, you can use my link to get 20% off. It's such an affordable sunscreen, one of the best quality sunscreens I've tried. But this new product by them, the Water Cream Moisturizer, has the potential to be so good. It's so lightweight and has almost like this watery gel-like consistency, but even though it's a watery gel, it's still, it's lightweight, but so hydrating at the same time. But this has ginger root extract in here, and I know ginger has these great beneficial skincare ingredients. It really is, can be calming on the skin and has an antioxidant potential to it, and it actually can have an exfoliating, calming property to it. But if you have a sensitivity to it, obviously it could irritate your skin. And with me, this did burn my skin, so I don't know if if it was the ginger root in here, there's also sage root, no, sage leaf extract, so it could have been that as well. Uh, man, I just was so bummed because this it feels so great on the skin initially, and then after a few minutes, I started to get that tingle, and I did have some redness on my face as well. So unfortunately, this new dermatology moisturizer did irritate my skin. But man, it has so much product in here too. It's a great buy for your money, but if you have sensitive skin, I think you have to be careful with this. And I just wish they would have left out the the sage leaf and then the ginger. I don't know, I'm just not a fan. So yeah, has the potential, but just did not work on my skin. All right guys, but that does it for my favorites and fails. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you guys have any new favorites, any new fails. Are you excited for the Sephora sale? Are <laughs> did you guys hear that? That was such a Freudian slip. Oh my gosh, I said the Freudian, <laughs> I said the Sephora fail, um, sale. <laughs> um, I'm excited for it, I am. I buy a few things, but it's just its just not the same anymore. It just doesn't have the same thrill to me. <laughs> but anyway, leave um, comments down below if you will be shopping the Sephora sale. Is it worth me even doing that video? I don't know. If you guys aren't shopping, maybe I won't do it because um, I still have that eye cream video to put up as well. So I'd love to hear from you guys down below. Let me know about your favorites and fails. And yeah, just thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.